get some content, record the podcast, catch up and have a great time. Who am I and what have I done with myself? If we do one thing, we count it as failing. Good morning gang, welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm very excited to be back. I feel like whenever I have even one day off of vlogging, it feels so weird. And because I vlogged all weekend with the event and with going to shoot with Tash, I just feel like it's really weird to have been away from the camera, but it just feels really weird to have been away from the camera. However, the shoot day is going to be in its whole own separate vlog. So I thought it would be quite a cool idea to do a video talking you through the settings I use for my camera when I shoot stuff, where we take pictures sometimes, how we get the right angles, how we plan outfits, like all that kind of stuff. And it's quite a good little fun day with me and Tash. But tomorrow I have a studio for the day and I'm gonna go record some podcast stuff with one of my friends Jade who is Bella and Izio on Instagram. We have the studio booked up for a couple of hours and we're gonna try and get a couple of outfits shot at the same time because when you meet up with fellow influencers there's nothing easier than just going to get some pictures at the same time because we all need content and it just it makes sense so we're gonna try and do a double whammy get some content, record the podcast, catch up and have a great time. I think the weather should be okay, which is really nice, but I've written a list on my phone of three different outfits that I want to pack. So I'm gonna grab my little cabin suitcase and just pop those bits in there now so that they're ready to go. I can pop them by the front door and then I don't have to think about it until tomorrow. But I'm really excited. I'm excited to get into London. I'm excited to shoot some stuff. I haven't really, Okay, I have been in London because I was in London on Sunday, but I feel like I haven't really been to London and like got the train and that whole experience of doing all of that kind of thing for a really long time. I think the last time I did it was November, maybe early December. I don't tend to do it very often, so I'm very excited. It is technically a business expense. I know, like, I feel like I have to justify everything with this no buy month, but it's really grey when you're self-employed with the whole no buy thing because technically like if you were going to an office every day you would count that as being like obviously a business expense me going into london and using a studio is a business expense i try not to use one as much as possible i really 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 try to just not spend any money on studios and stuff but we thought we'd make a day out of it get some really cute content at the same time and i'm gonna try and do some more good vibes like promo-y bits while we're in the studio. So she's gonna take some cute pictures of me and stuff that I can use for that. So we're kind of doing a lot of things with minimal timing. And no buy update will be in the video which is coming. I actually don't know when I've scheduled it. When have I put it? I, I honestly couldn't tell you, but I have been recording at odd points through the month to be able to pop it in. So I'm gonna be giving you a full update on everything. And I'm really excited to share the video because I think there's such a, a thing online and just in life in general where we have this thing where if we do one thing we count it as failing and I really wanted to make this video I also still have a half marathon one coming I haven't got the half marathon booked but I'm going to put it all into one video because I think it's really important to share that not everything is always seamless not everything is perfect we do have dips and bumps and things that happen etc and it's okay because it's still a journey and it still teaches us lessons so that's going to be coming soon but I really need to pack these outfits up and I need to get my suitcase out of the cupboard and sort that out. I'm trying to make these outfits, three outfits, with as minimal pieces as possible that I can just interchange because it will just be so much easier. So let's get to it. I'm gonna turn this light off because it seems really harsh. Okay, I've took a picture on my phone of the screenshot because I basically, that's a really bad angle, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Let me kick this over. Oh, no, broken toe, broken toe, bad idea. I've put black short jacket, black roll neck, blue jeans, black bag and loafers. Let me find it all. I really want like a black cropped jacket, but I don't own one. I love that I've written down black cropped jacket and I don't own one. Like what an idiotic thing to do. <laughs> loafers. Do you know what? I think I'm going to do this jacket. This I've shown 7,000 million times online, but this is actually from H&M and it's just a cropped quilted bomber. I got this from the showroom a couple of years ago and it's genuine leather. It's honestly the nicest thing ever. I'm so obsessed with it. I just, I find sometimes it can be quite difficult to style, but I think with the roll neck, it might look quite cute. And then the loafers and like a pair of denim, like these maybe that I've got on. Or I do have a wide leg pair from Cotton On that I might do instead. Cream quilted coat, white cable neck, cream socks, Uggs, 
basically done like a million versions of the same thing. Cream jacket. Cream cable knit to go under cream jacket. Lipstick. I find them everywhere. Let me pop this in here as well. I'm going to try and pack it all into this tiny little suitcase, but I don't know if it'll fit because jumpers and stuff are just so big. That's the only thing with winter is everything's so gigantic. This, by the way, is also H&M, but quite old. So I'll leave a similar one linked if you're interested because whenever I show outfits and stuff, you guys seem to really want all the links. I do link everything in the description of a weekly vlog anyway. So if you're ever curious, Everything is always down in the description box, but um, yeah, I'll leave them linked if you want to get your hands on anything. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Honestly, no wonder we struggle to pack in cabin size bags for holidays. If this is not even a full outfit, I can't shut it. And then I need to work out what I'm wearing to record the episode. I might wear this to record the episode because it's quite cute, nice and simple. Good morning, gang. From the new car. Woo -woo. <laughs> I realised I haven't vlogged in here yet, but it's actually surprisingly easier to vlog. Like, there's easier places to put the camera. So that's really good. But I'm at the gym and it's half six. This is an unruly time to be out of the house and awake. It's so chilly. So, so chilly outside. But that, I think that's what makes it harder. In summer, I don't find it that difficult to get out of the car. But in winter, when it's cold, I just want to stay bundled up in the car. I don't want to get out but I'm gonna have an upper body day today I did one on Monday with Georgia she came to my gym I'll leave a link down below actually because we did a little TikTok of it um we didn't do the full workout I don't think in the TikTok but we showed a few of them so I'll leave it down below if you want to check it out because it was a good little workout and it was really fun to do with a friend so actually I love working out with a friend but my friends don't come to my gym or they don't come at the same time as me so it's really difficult to like actually go together but it was really nice i really liked it um doing upper body by myself today which is gonna be fun i actually really love I, okay i love legs and i love upper body i just love the gym i love lifting weights i love running i love swimming who am i and what have i done with myself like two years ago please because I used to hate exercise, I used to hate fitness, I used to hate PE, <laughs> I used to hate all of it. And now I actually really like it. I really like doing fitnessy things. I do fitnessy things for fun. I did bungee fit for fun. What's wrong with me? What's happened? I don't know. But um, I'm really excited. And yesterday was so fun. I, I realised I didn't really give you much context. It was just a lot of montage clips. But I was with my friend Jade. Um, I think I mentioned in the morning, didn't I? Bella Inizio is her Instagram. But she is literally me. And it's so funny. Because we both talk too much. We both have so much energy. We both laugh all the time. Like, when we're together, we're like two little... Like, I can only describe it as like... You know when you see science things when you're a kid in school and it's like atoms that keep going like this? <laughs> That's literally it. Like, it's literally... It was chaotic but it was so much fun um so we did a couple of podcast episodes together and vlog exclusive she might be coming on as a regular guest so that's really exciting we just need to talk about the logistics of stuff yeah it was so much fun and it was such great conversation so we've got one coming about being an influencer um but not like not in the way that you think it's more about like the other side of things so you know how you're kind of thrown into this world of having to learn about pensions and taxes and like you have to self-teach video editing and all that kind of thing as well as the fact that obviously we don't get any mat leave we don't get sick pay we don't get any of that kind of thing because we're self-employed and like it's kind of like the other side um and how lonely the job can be and just talking through like all of the misconceptions and the things that get said and all that kind of stuff it's a really really good episode actually um i do wish it was longer and i wish we had more time to talk about it but we recorded the other episode which was all about um specifically it was it was about turning 30 but i think it relates to anyone who's like 28 plus and it was basically about how like when you hit 
your like late 20s early 30s you just stop giving a shit basically and like you stop caring as much about how like you just stop care i don't even know how to explain it it's like this thing just happens and like suddenly washes over you and you just stop caring as much but you start caring like but i don't know how to explain it in the easiest way because we kind of talked around a lot of different topics but the other episode was all about turning 30 and how when you turn 30 there's like more pressure to look perfect and look younger and you start caring more about wrinkles and stuff but you stop caring about other aspects so you stop caring as much about losing weight and you start accepting yourself more as who you are and you start accepting your personality and your flaws and your perfections and you just start becoming more you so we talked a lot about that in depth and how like you know when you hit like in your early 20s you work out to that's gonna be really loud when you're in your early 20s you work out to be skinnier and lose weight and to look a certain way whereas when you're kind of in your late 20s 30s i think more so 30s on this one but you start doing it more for like function so for example this is obviously all in the episode and we talk in a lot of detail i'm giving you a very rubbish 6 30 in the morning i'm half awake description of this but it was kind of talking through how like with fitness for me yes it started as i wanted to lose weight and i wanted to look a certain way but it very quickly became i actually really want to be able to be an old person who can run for a bus who can lift things out of a cupboard who can run up and down stairs who can you know run around with my grandchildren who can carry the shopping into the house without a worry like i want to be a fit old person and i don't want to be like it's all fine to look good when you're 70 but if you don't feel good and if you're not mobile and if you're not strong and you know if you can't if you're not healthy then why do you care about looking good like you can look good but be stuck in a care home with a zimmer frame and like attached to all these tubes like it's just it's just basically talking through like all these different things and it was they honor oh no, they're so good episodes they're such 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 good episodes i'm obsessed but we managed to do two in two hours so the first one the turning 30 one is quite a lengthy one the second one is a little bit more bite size i think it was like 30 something minutes but it's still a good size and it's still a good one and I really really like them I think they're fab episodes and I think we're going to do a couple more because we just we honestly had one idea and we were going to do one episode and then we just kept getting more ideas but the only thing is when we were recording I'm so used to looking at my vlog camera and the camera was right in front of me and I kept looking at the camera and not looking at her so I was like talking to her and then talking to the camera and I was like no stop it stop it look at them look at Jade so um yeah it's really good i need to finish this and i've been procrastinating like no one's business i've been sat in the car for 10 minutes but i think the problem is this is really cold i'm cold so i don't want to drink it because it's cold and i've got a bun and i don't know about you but trying to drink in a car when you have a bun is so hard because your like bun hits the seat so you can't like tip your head back so i have to be like <laughs> trying, to, trying to like maneuver my head around in different ways to drink but i'm gonna stop waffling because i really do need to go and i will try and film a couple of bits in the gym although it's not as easy because i get really embarrassed filming in the gym but i'll try i will try for you This looks so random, but I bought a podcast like mic arm. Normally I use this little thing that stands on top, like so. So it's like this, but I thought, you know what? Let's try something different. Let's see if it's the sound like where the microphone's not close enough to my face. So I bought this little arm that basically, I'm not gonna try and do it now because I think I'm gonna break it, but it basically extends and like obviously bends at different points so that I can pull it close enough so that I can use it and it will be really close to my mouth. I'll see if I can show you like this. So basically this like bends and you can obviously screw it into place so that i can do it like this and have the microphone like right in my mouth so that when i'm recording it's here rather than just being like stood on the little stand and then it's like much further away so hopefully this will improve the quality because it's right like at my face if you know what i mean so like when i'm talking and stuff to guests it will be just much closer and i can just kind of fold the whole situation away and just tuck it in and then you literally like that's so out of the way look it's just completely tucked against the wall doesn't look the most appealing but so much more convenient and i just really like it i think it's great and then i can plug all the bits and stuff into the bottom of the microphone when it's all set up oh, no i just got it everywhere oh no the lid just came off my cuticle oil off 
first world problem. <laughs> it's just gone everywhere. Just mop it up and put some on. <laughs> the running trainers are going on. No, I am not going for a run. Do not fear. I know I have broken toes and I shouldn't be doing that. I actually, yesterday, I did on, which day did I go into London? Tuesday? Wednesday? I can't remember. Whichever day it was that I went into London, I actually ran up the tube steps. I ran up the steps at the train station because the train literally was pulling in and I obviously didn't want to miss it. And as I was running up the steps, I was like, okay, running is not a good idea. Walking, however, I've been more able to do this week. So it's been two weeks tomorrow since I broke my toes. Um, if you missed the story, I don't know if I mentioned it in this week's vlog or last week's vlog, but I broke my second toe on each foot. It's very painful. I actually think on my left leg, like on that foot, I think I've broken the two next to my big toe because it feels kind of funky. But um, I'm unsure whether my running trainers are going to help or not because they've got a lot of movability. So I'm thinking maybe not. What does it feel like to walk on? Yeah, no, these are going to hurt. We're going back to the trainers I wear to the gym because they're really flat. It's the most bizarre feeling ever. I can't explain to you how it feels, but like I can't. Okay, I can't like do this with my toes but that's more so because I've got them taped to like god no they're so taped up but if I try and like bend them too much they literally hurt so much as like an ache and then if I step on them I basically had to put like cotton wool to fill the gap under my second toe because of just you know to make it more comfortable but it kind of feels like I'm standing on a stone that is underneath my second toe every time I put it down it's really weird I can't explain it if you've broken a toe you'll know what I mean specifically if you've broken like one of your middle toes rather than like your little toe or your big toe because that's just completely different I think um but it is sore so I'm going to take myself on a little walk by little I mean like very little we're not going far at all um and we're just going to see how she feels I'm going to do maybe like 10 minutes tops so really, really quick, just out, up the road, turn around and come back again. We're not going far. We're doing a very, very quick little walk. I just want to get out and move and be outside in the sunshine. I was listening to Diary of a CEO earlier and it was the one with, I can't remember her name, a doctor that does one on anxiety. And it's called something like sitting down is making you anxious or something like that. And basically they were talking about how if you get out for even short little bursts of walks, it helps your productivity and your mood for the entire day. So I thought, you know what? Let's get my headphones in and let's take myself for a short little walk. So I'm bundling up in this big coat, which is from my recent Lululemon haul. It's so big and cozy. And we're gonna go for a little mini walk. Also, before I forget, I mean to mention these all the time and I never remember. These are little USB hand warmers. So you USB charge them and you turn them on and like they have three different settings, but even on the lower setting, they are so hot. James got me these as a stocking filler for Christmas and they are just the best thing ever. Cause when I'm on a walk, I can literally just put them in the pockets and hold them like this and they heat up my hands so nicely. Me and my friends used them when we went to the Taylor Swift candlelight thing because it was a bit cold. And pretty much every time we go for a walk, so James and I will have one each, so we'll hold a coffee and then we'll have our hands on one of these in our pocket and then just keep swapping what hand we have in. And honestly, it's heaven, so it keeps my hands nice and toasty. But I do need to go get my headphones out of the car because I left them in there by accident. Do you know what? 10 minutes just makes you feel so much better. I'm really, really glad I came out for this walk. I just feel so good to be out in fresh air, even though my toes really hurt. Cause you wanna scream, don't call me kid, don't call me baby, let this go a safe mess that you made me. I've got another new mug, this time it's from Amazon, and I love this so much. I'll leave it linked down below, but it's so flipping cute. Uh, it's actually part of an ad for Amazon. We're not just excessively hoarding mugs at the moment. Kind of are, but also not. We've got like a, they, they need clearing out to be honest, but how cute, I love the handle, I think it's just so perfect. I put my instant coffee in this grind tin and I'm so glad I did because it looks so much nicer. Although it was a bit much, so it's kind of overflowing, but I guess it's gonna go down now. <laughs> Did I just go into my bedroom with washing that needs putting away, end up putting more washing in the wash pot, changing the layout of the entire bedding, then deciding I wanted to put a dressing gown on and then rearranging the other room a little bit? Yes, I did. Five minutes later, we're back. If you didn't know, I didn't know this until very recently, you can actually buy really like cheap grind coffee. Well, not cheap. So it's like bulk buying grind coffee, which is the pink ones I always use, these. 
um grind coffee is the best coffee ever you can buy it in the tins and stuff on their website and i think it's a little bit more expensive but if you go on amazon you can bulk buy like 24 packs etc and it works out so much cheaper i'll leave the link down below because they have a really good caramel one they have dark roast and they also have i think i guess it's called like the normal blend grind blend i don't know what it's actually called house blend that would make more sense but it's really really good so highly recommend i'll leave it linked again down below and for anyone who thinks i'm mad free pouring my coffee i just used a spoon specifically for you but i'm freezing and i refuse to turn the heating on because our heating bill came through for last month and we barely used the heating and it was so much money that i said to james we are absolutely under no circumstances putting the heating on this month so it's been nice and toasty all day where the sun's been in here which is the one good thing about this flat where it's like a greenhouse with all the windows and stuff it's the warmest thing when the sun's on it, but it gets so cold when it's not, because obviously it's like a greenhouse. It gets really hot and really cold, but oh, it's making me slightly look forward and dread summer because in summer, this flat gets like 38 degrees and it's unbearable. So I think what we might have to do is bite the bullet this year and buy ourselves a Dyson fan. We have a really like old stand up metal thing that's fine. It does the job, but it's really noisy. So I think I might have to buy a little Dyson one that I can put in here when I'm working that can just be going like quietly so I can carry on with work stuff. But <sighs> my landlady did actually come over a couple of months ago and she did mention putting a air conditioning unit up here, which I'm not opposed to. However, it will then be on the wall so when I'm doing my reels and stuff, you'll be able to see it, which is my only concern. <laughs> Selfishly, I don't want you to be able to see the air conditioning unit, but I'm gonna speak to her about it and see if she still wants to do it. Um, and I also need to speak to her because I don't know, I don't know if you can actually see, but basically all around the like the top of the room has gone like dark all around the edges. And no, it's not candles. I know someone will say it's candles. I don't actually really burn candles in here ever. We burn them maybe like once in a blue moon, probably once a month, if that, for like an hour. But for some reason, the walls have got so grubby and it's happened in both the bedrooms as well where we've never burnt candles. And I don't know what to do because it just, it's just dirty, like it looks dirty. But I don't know if it's damp or anything, I don't really know. I guess we'll soon find out. But I'm gonna get back into my cozy little spot and carry on working. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite warm now. <laughs> dressing gown on. Whew. Thank <laughs> you.